Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome back to our satellite build, our space station build, in fact, where today I just want to get as close as possible to completing the craft. And one thing I've found out is that it turns out the only actual viable chair in this whole craft is the one Lowry is on. So whenever I spawn into the craft, it's a little bit worrying, to say the least. So, what is the very first thing I want to do? Well, I've actually only recently uploaded the video. I have pretty much went back to this game, went back to the satellite, the space station, as fast as I could, because I was really, really loving recording this. So, the first thing I want to do, which a few people have suggested, is that perhaps I should have a more... Um, a more static way of moving, which is a weird way of putting it by me, but essentially, rather than turning the spacecraft and having a strong thrust at the back, why not have equal thrust in every direction? So, we move while keeping our orientation the same, so we can move left, right, forward, backwards, but we don't actually turn. And you know what? I love that idea. I also love how this looks. So what I'm going to do is the lazy option, but I think it will work better because it will be all nice and uniform. And what we're going to do is simply copy all of this and paste it here at the front and at the side. Then I'm going to have to do some editing with the controls so that the AI understands, oh yeah, this is how we turn. In fact, it is going to be a little bit difficult with the AI, especially since we want to hover over the target, but I think I can get it to work. And I think the copying is going to be only a little bit difficult. So, let's just get straight into it. Did I not actually get the halfway point that I did? So why is that not connecting properly? Oh, it's not connecting either side properly. Okay. Yeah, kind of forgot that the, um, the railings count as a block, so that's fine, that's actually kind of what I wanted to see there. So, let's just quickly remove this side completely. This is going to be a lot of mass we're adding to the craft, and actually that's kind of going to be the theme today, because I want everything to look a little bit sturdier. I like it looking somewhat spindly with the different platforms, with some distance between them, with only scaffolding and ladders and stuff between them, but having each of the levels only one thick, uh, I mean, you can really see it in the thumbnail of the last video, I realised. Oh, that looks way too frail, because it looks like it shouldn't even exist, which is the main problem there. Okay, let's line these up. I could actually just mirror this. Oh yeah, if I just do this, this should work. No, I'd have to change the mirror line. For now, I'll just plop that there. Oh, you know what? I'm, I don't trust myself now I've said all that. So I need to be in between. There we are. And that is lined up, and causing it to flicker horribly, and that should be that. The front's going to look a bit weird now, yeah, so, well, there we go. Let's have a look, see how that looks. Let's just turn off the mirror line. Let's see how it looks from a distance. Oh, that looks so much better. Yep, absolutely love that. And then the next layer is going to have all ladders and everything connecting these to the platform. I am beyond pleased with how that turned out. Looks like a no- Looks like a face! No! It's got a face! Eye! Eye! Nose! Terrifying mouth! It looks like an illager! Oh no. Nope, nope, gonna ignore that. Let's uh, pretend I didn't say that. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, <laughs> let's change that. Uh, these are still currently set to their original settings, so it was shooting us really far into space. We are now at altitude 2,226. That's a little bit too high because it take the missiles too long to get to the um, to the water. There we are. No, those should be rollers. No, yeah, those should be rollers. These should be pitch. No, pitcher is fine. You just need to revert to being front pitch. Okay, so now, yeah, we should be able to lose altitude again. <laughs> Whoops. So there is the new decorations mode. Yep, so there's several decorations now already here because once again, there's not much space for railings. This means we no longer need to use mimics. Should have really been using this in the last video to be perfectly honest, but I saw it was a thing. But since I was trying out other things as well, I didn't really want to take a look at it just yet. But yeah, that's gonna make life a lot easier. Can I also, um... Ah, okay, so I need to manually mirror it. The mirror mode won't automatically do that. It's actually really nice as well, since mimics you do have to go back to the other side and then do it manually, whereas this seems to be automatic. So these essentially are connected to another block, and they're not actually their own block, so they don't have any physical property. Oh! 
Actually, no, I've said that. That might be a bad thing since, uh, clearly, I have messed that up. I'll fix that in a second. But, um, that might be a bad thing because I can see myself falling off <laughs> without the railings there. Okay, so forward. Should activate you. Okay. You are to the right. Should activate you. Okay. Backwards is all of you. And then left is you. Okay, yeah, we have full control. So the space station now has full control of itself. Giving it Fortress AI would be really easy. Like, right now, this could be a harvester. Very, very easy. It's very weird to watch move. <laughs> you can get some serious speed as well. Oh, not having it being controlled by the AI, though, is awful. Because it's in space, it'll just keep on going. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare to control manually, but... Hopefully, eventually, that won't be the case. Now, I still will have to tinker with the AI, though. I can't think of one AI which wants to use things like this. But that's something to work on. Stop staring into my soul. The AI has been engaged, and surprisingly, it's working really well. So what it's doing is it's going around the target. It's trying to get directly above it. But because the thrusters are so strong, and the PID isn't strict enough, it keeps on overshooting. But the funny thing is... This is going to make it incredibly difficult to hit. So right now, it should be trying to correct itself with these thrusters on. Yep, so in a second, it'll slow down. There we are. And it'll go back towards that. It'll once again overcompensate later on as it goes past it. So it's going to be continuously making this figure of eight sort of orbit around the target. That's going to be way harder to hit for, for enemies um, which aren't directly underneath it. And it's kind of creepy. And I love it. This wasn't intentional, by the way, and it's easy to fix. Literally, make the PID stricter, lower the th strength of the thrusters. Maybe not even lower the strength of the thrusters, but right now, it just circles above like some horrible jellyfish predator. <laughs> <clears throat> peaceful science vessel. Like a terrible, peaceful science vessel. So I have added some ladders here. The problem is they're not particularly visible, but they are there, I do... Still like the kind of skeletal structure. I need to do something about the corners, though. I'm not too much a fan of that. And the problem is, as well, this is a rectangle, not a square. So I have to do something different to the other two, but that's fine. I just turned the AI off for a moment, and we went flying off. And I've turned it back on just to make sure we can get above the target, which we now are. In a second, it's going to compensate. Yep, the other thrusters turned on. Excellent. So it definitely, definitely works. Am I overusing railings? I mean, I know I am, but I love them. I love the look of the railings and the um, the truss blocks. I think they look fantastic. Now, if I remove these, I won't destroy anything, right? Okay, destroyed a few uh, bits of railing, but I kind of want to change this corner. Sadly, there's not a corner truss. Um, could just do that. I mean... Uh, I mean... Might have to use decoration blocks instead to get a kind of fake version, but actually no. Actually no. Now that's together, that looks absolutely fine. Never mind. There are definitely ways to do that with decoration blocks, but for now we'll just leave it like that and reattach these. The less of these that are decorations, the better, because again, I want most of this um, accessible. And we can use a hatch here. Doors and hatches. Hatches will add these up to the top. Like so. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Absolutely lovely. Yep, that's where I'm going to have to use a decoration. But actually, no, no, we're still absolutely fine. Good, good. At some point, we need to have like a proper just array of particle cannons because that looks horrifying in fact i'm very tempted to add some particle cannons as permanent weapons to this thing with the main weapon in the core being the test weapon we could do something like this but actually effective uh, right now these are set to like do 10 damage each so obviously not really doing much but that looks so bloody creepy and i've just decided it needs to be on a spin block um, I was going to add a reverse spin block anyway, because the one we have currently going for the thrusters is causing us to um, slowly turn around constantly. How about if we have one a little bit further out, just above, 
So like here, going the opposite way, and having spin blocks, and so having particle cannons on the end of each of the arms, perhaps having an extra four arms, so the next one will be eight rather than four. Yes, yes, that needs to happen. The fact that the combat music is stuck on because there's an enemy nearby as well is making this a lot more intense than it needs to be. I have to say though still, I think this is the most fun I've had with a build in a very long time. I love almost all of my builds, but this one, I adore. Not even because it's particularly good, just, it's fun. I've just looked at this and realised, I've made the 8 sided Chaos Star. Oh, the Chaos Star, that's exactly what's called the space station. Zinch guides our way today. I know this is stupid because it is long range, but I'm probably going to end up using the short range lenses because their field of fire is really good and we are moving very far away from the core of this craft and we're not necessarily going to be always directly above the target anyway. Then we need to make sure that the local weapons controllers have very, very strict fail safes, otherwise they will end up hitting the rest of this craft. How about the scatter lens? What uh, field of fire do you actually have is my question. Field of fire is 30. You're 35. I still... Yeah, I'm going to stick with the short range for now. I know it's stupid. Don't really care. Once again, not building this for effectiveness. Building it for fun. If it just so happens to melt faces, then that's just an added benefit. For now, though, we have a really weird chaos star with uh, some sections being wider than the others. Yeah, the diagonals have ended up um, wider because I've done that wrong, but I actually quite like it because it makes it just look a bit more different as it turns. So I'm going to keep that. Now, though, I, I am going to have to figure out a way to uh, make these piping pieces diagonal. So I guess it's going along like this and maybe covering it with some armor. Yeah, let's go with that. Just a quick test to make sure it works. Once again, this is almost no damage. They have no overclocking and half of the pipes aren't even installed. Just making sure they can spin without hurting themselves. Oh, that is horrible looking and I love it to bits. The larger arms anyway are going to be much stronger because I am going to take up most of the core here, which is two blocks wide on both sides. So are going to... Oh, yeah, that one actually held fire. Fantastic. Yep, they do indeed stop destroying themselves, which is lovely. Do I trust just a fail safe? Maybe not, but right now it does seem to be working. They are slightly longer than these, but yeah, at some angles, that's going to have to happen. Beautiful. Okay. Let's continue. What if there was a giant jellyfish in the sky which really hated your brain? I think that's what it'd be like. And it's dead. So that's one thing we could do. Uh, set it to a decent charge time, a little bit of overclocking, and just have them all set to EMP. It's not really the best way to do this because, honestly, they're all so small, it's not going to do a great amount of EMP damage. But again, smaller targets like that, it's going to one-shot them 99% of the time, as I've done multiple testing runs like this in the adventure mode. So that definitely works. But I want something more fun. I'll test on a larger target. I mean, it wasn't actually that powerful. Yes, yeah, so the problem I'm running into is the particle cannons are just very small. They're not large at all. They look larger than they actually are when you uh, look at them. But um, they're tiny. They're like 30 tubes each, if that. I think some of them... Are, no, yeah. The smaller ones are 25. The larger ones are 30. That's very small. But it's undeniable that is a lot of fun. I think the clear correct ways to do this is either have them as EMP with maximum overclocking and maximum um, charge time, or use piercing. Since they are a cluster of shots, piercing might actually be the better option, so I'm going to do that as a test. And then, honestly, I'm probably going to have them on a one second delay just for fun. These are a secondary, silly, fun weapon, because I think it matches the theme. Then I need to actually finish off the um, spin block itself, because right now it looks pretty bare bones.
Yeah, it went all the way through. Look at that. All the way through the craft. So if there's anything important in any of these lines... Wow, yeah, clearly piercing is the way to go. That is brutal to even... Well, this isn't the most heavily armoured craft, but it's a good craft because there's lots of explosives you can hit. We actually got pretty unlucky there. But as a side weapon, um, as a finisher, or as just general damage, if we do lower the cooldown and have it more as a uh, general constant damage, I think that's absolutely fine. I didn't expect it to be... Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't expect it to be truly devastating, so I am completely happy with that. Okay, I didn't quite see what that hit. Oh, yep, yeah, once again, it's gone through, but didn't really hit anything important that time. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's how it's gonna be. It's just the way it is. I mean, eventually, I'm gonna have a version of this with a main super particle cannon or a super laser, so... Extras, I have to stop expecting so much from it. Ignore all the batteries on the top. I'm going to have those hidden around. I just wanted to make sure I had enough power to keep on testing over and over again. I have made and remade this now minimum of 10 times. I think I am mostly happy with this. I still need to clean up the outsides of it, the very outside, but I like this because it's a sort of hybrid of having some support there, but not going so overboard. The rest of the craft is very open, the piping is showing and everything else, because again, it's not meant to be in combat. This is a test vehicle, and I originally completely armoured it up, and it looked dreadful. Not because it actually looked bad itself, but it just didn't fit the theme of anything else. I didn't want it to look too heavy compared with the next spin block. And even now, I'm looking at it thinking, maybe a bit less. But then, when you add too little, it looks like an unfinished weapon, and I don't want that either. I'm starting to even question having this spin block, but I like it. I do. I think I'm happy with this. Um, I think some people won't like this. It's one of those kind of things, but... Yeah, I think it fits the theme. It adds a lot of weight to the bottom of the craft without overdoing it, in my opinion. I'm not the best cosmetic builder by a very, very, very long shot. I, I'm not even middling, but I'm happy with that. Yeah. It's a lot more detailed now. A lot more. So now I think I'm going to start doing some stuff on the inside of the craft. Let's finish off those two spare rooms. So the three rooms I haven't finished. Then we can add a basic ceiling to it. Then just do some clean up work. Uh, clean up work. As you can probably tell, I have been here now for... Many hours! Way too many! I promised I wouldn't be that many hours here, but here I am. Okay, so we have two sets of missiles. We have a Larry chilling. Don't know why he has a chef's hat. That just kind of happened. And now we're going to add some medium missiles over here. So I want one on the floor like that. I want a Larry activating the missile button over here. Then I want them racked up somehow over here. Maybe have them on the side. In like two rows. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe this room as well is just going to be another missile room. So we have two sets of missile storage, then regular storage, and then our engine and power generation room. Then we actually have loads of space underneath the craft, and we're going to add a ceiling so we can add stuff to the top as well. If we need more engine power or anything else, we can always go ahead and add that. The whole thing just looks really odd now, now we're starting to add some uh, roofing. The missile room is still nowhere near completed, but I just want to see how this would look. Might need to lower the lighting a little bit, but I do like the fact it's very bright from the outside. So I might leave it for the sake of that. I mean, how often am I actually going to go in there? Very, very rarely. Okay, yeah, let's stick with that. Then I'm going to finish off the, the first missile room, now that we're going to have two. Since honestly, I don't think there's enough room for the medium missiles, there just isn't. So I think this will be the small missile room, this will be the medium. Uh... If I want large or huge missiles, I don't know what I'm going to do really, but most likely I won't use them, because honestly, when it comes to cluster missiles, I prefer quantity over quality. I prefer thousands of little, sharp, pointy things than a sword, essentially. What? What am I even saying? I am very tired. That's the underside cleaned up. I keep on bouncing from task to task. There's so much to do on the station. Underside done. I've added a few more supports to that layer there. And I'm still unsure how to do these next rooms. So, well, other than this one, I'm fairly certain, yeah, this is going to be more small missiles. So if we're going to have medium missiles here, I think we should have them more individual. 
So they keep on coming out of the ground like this, and then there's a gap, and then the next, and then the next, and then the next. Make them look a bit more like they're actually being experimented on. This one looks more just like bulk storage. Bulk storage. Test room for explosives, which is always safe to have around. And then general storage, yes. I'm repeating myself so much, I've been recording for way too long, my mind has now melted completely. Occasionally, I have to remind myself, I am actually building this for a reason. So, as I mentioned countless times, especially at the start of the build, the main purpose of this thing is it is a testing station. It is our science station. And by the way, I am loving this at the moment, just being able to go through the entire station. It looks so much better when you're in your character mode. When you're just looking at it from a distance, I still think it looks pretty nice, honestly. I am happy with myself, but this... I love it. Although the jagged edges I'm still tempted to keep so I think it looks very brutalist, but uh, I may change it. But anyway, the point is, this is our testing platform, so what I'm doing now is adding some connection pieces to over here and over here. I'm not actually going to connect anything to them, but essentially this is where we're going to build platforms whenever we want to test our engines or weapons or anything else. And then of course we have the main weapon silo going all the way down the spine of the craft if we want a particularly large weapon. But over here, we can build out forever and ever and ever, and thanks to being in the space, if our center of mass changes too much, it really doesn't matter all that much because we've really overcompensated with way too many thrusters. This thing is not going to be unbalanced unless we add loads of recoil, and even then, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. You may also notice now we have 313,000 engine power, which honestly is a little bit smaller than some of the craft I've seen in the campaign, but it's more than enough for most weapons and everything else, and that's because underneath this blue section here, the entire underside of the craft, ta-da, is batteries. So that's our battery storage all the way through, with the uh, the more decorative version being over here. And we can always add engines as well if we have any free space, which we should. So with that, I don't want to build up this too much, because I want this to be free for me to build with nice and easily. So all I'm going to do is reinforce this section to make it look a little bit better. I'm thinking in a similar style of this, having lots of the, um, the diagonal joints and everything else going up. And then, that's actually the bulk of it done. Just back to adding the ceiling and finishing off these two rooms. I wonder how long it's going to be until areas like this where I have double decorations stacked up, and in fact some areas have three or four on a single block. Uh, how long until I just walk through one of these? The important things have all been added to this little section of our storage room. The really important things. So, we're gonna have the explosives in here as well. I feel like this video is gonna be quite disjointed because I keep on going from task to task since they do take quite a long time and I keep on having ideas for other things as I continue with them. So yeah, using loads of the decoration blocks now, although mostly for railings so I can place them wherever, I will be uh, being a bit more experimental with them as I continue. I also like the fact I can quite easily fly now <laughs> because we're in space or just go back to landing. It's very nice. Okay, so. Ammunition, fuel, Larry's. It didn't take me 15 minutes to put a uh, mannequin on a tiny little ladder. No, oh, that wasn't 15 minutes ago. <laughs> if that was the case, I'd be going mad. Basic ammo store and uh, miscellaneous. They get their own corner. Mm-hmm. We have fuel, we have ammo, we have miscellaneous, we have fuel put in front of ladders because we're just that clear with how we're meant to place things. Well, that's that room done at least. Oops, does I close the door on me? There we go. Got miscellaneous again, more just junk. I think that's enough for now in this room. There's still obviously more we can do, but I want to move on. So then next up, what I would like to do is, at some point I'm gonna change these doors. That'd be a piston door would be cool, but that would be a bit annoying to uh, navigate quickly. Hello, missile chef. So we need missiles here, we need missiles in the other place, but we could place them in the next video when I'm actually messing around with the missiles themselves, but instead I could just do some final cleanup, then call it a day for now. The next episode will be out a little bit faster, and we are only going to be focusing on missiles. We're going to be testing out different types of the huge missiles, seeing which is my favourite type, and testing out cluster missiles with the huge missile, which can hold hundreds of them. I've done a few little tests and posted some pictures on Twitter, and they are phenomenally fun. Also, people keep on asking me why I'm still using these lights when there's all the different types available. I just like the old school light fittings. I don't know why, I just gotta do. Okay, you definitely need one above you. Uh, actually, what we can do is just put them over here instead. 
I'm gonna pretend this doesn't exist. It's um, it's an interesting thing, which no one needs to have explained to them. So now I'm just gonna spend like the next hour or so cleaning up things, so that once we start doing the missile stuff, we can get straight into it. Yeah, just little things like that, just to make it look a bit less solid. Okay, the connection point is there. We've added some chains here, which makes this look a little bit more interesting. I will be adding something else here, I'm just not quite sure what yet. I could add another spin block, honestly, but I think what I'm just going to do is a static version of what's going around here. So, I'll have those all around here, just to make this look a little bit more interesting. Right now, it's definitely the most boring part. Uh, on top, I've cleaned up all the ceiling, I've added some more light to the rooms I've pretty much finished. So now when you go around the outside, you can actually see inside. And it looks really cool in my opinion. Still so much to do. I could be here for days more. And I am having so much fun. Honestly, I'm looking at the time. The time is flying by. I need to stop soon. Otherwise, this is going to be a really, really, really long video. Absolutely in love with this build. It's not the best, but you know, for me, for me, I'm pretty happy with it. What we're learning here is don't yell at the machines. Especially on an AI-controlled station. Okay, so some quick placeholder stuff. This is the main mainframe. This one is the one controlling pretty all the movements and everything else. This over here is the missile. This over here is for the particle cannons. So, main weapon, side weapon, our benevolent overlord. I mean, look at it. It doesn't look like it's corrupting the ship in any way, shape, or form. Again, placeholder. But this is the layout I want for the command structure. These are all the general purpose PIDs. These are all the AI PIDs, which are all connected to the mainframe. If I add a breadboard, which I probably will end up having to use, honestly, I'll probably add it here next to the captain's chair. Okay, yeah, this is all very placeholder but I do actually really like it already, so happy with that as well. Well, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video, so if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I could be here for so, so many more hours, but for once, I'm going to have a healthy work-life balance, and I'm going to call it here and do some more stuff with this tomorrow, which should hopefully be the final day of doing all the basic stuff. I'll be doing a lot of it off-camera, just to make sure the is near enough finished so that next time we can really focus on the missiles. Maybe I'll do a bit of cleanup work on camera if that's what people want to see, but mostly it's time for us to test out some weaponry. So, really do hope you've enjoyed. I am very, very happy with this craft so far. There's so much left to do. And yeah, I could just be here for days more. Remember, Larry Prime is always watching. Larry Prime knows all. Larry wants you to know that if you haven't liked the video, Larry Prime will come out of your computer. So with that lovely thought, do take care, have a lovely night, and goodbye.